when you get so like later on in life right and you get to the adult place where now you have responsibilities right like you have like a house and uh, a marriage and a dog and all of this stuff and then you're like okay so I'm gonna um oh and a career <laughs> there's that too and so you're like yeah so in um the span of two months I'm gonna just uh walk away from that all of it and I, I don't know how I realized it, but I was like, I know what I'm, I know what my inclination is. My inclination is to like plan the crap out of this. Like I don't know what happened. Welcome back, everyone, to episode number 12 of the Johnny Rogers Show. Um, I'm very happy to have my guest on today, Michelle Christine. Is that what you're going by? Yep. Canadian abroad as well on Instagram and on YouTube, too. Um, for, I want to thank you, first of all, for reaching out and telling me that yeah. you enjoyed the podcast. That was something that I kept repeating on uh, many episodes, I felt like, about, and other people were saying, too, about how we need to be supporting each other in those ways. Yeah. Of, uh, if you enjoy something, just let somebody know. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. I, it's kind of funny. I just came upon your podcast and <laughs> what seemed like nowhere, but of course we're connected on social media. So it's not completely out of nowhere. And I'm like, I'm going to just like take a dive in here, take a listen. And I was like, this is very entertaining. <laughs> so I was like, I have to tell him because you're right. Like creators need to support each other. Right. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to have you on the podcast because you're, you're diving into the whole YouTube journey and doing it yourself. Yeah. I do it for work and now I'm, now I'm doing it um, for yeah. my own personal thing as well. But uh, what has that been like for you for the, uh, how, how long, like when did, when did you start your YouTube channel? Well, you know, it's, it's a question of like, when did I start versus when did I start planning for it? Ah, okay. Right? And maybe that's the word is like plans, because what I have started to realize is like my best laid plans, I end up just throwing out the window. Like I don't, I don't end up actually, it's the idea, like the goal is right. You know, like the, the concept, the goal is right. But then what actually ends up happening is not <laughs> anything like what I had planned. Right. Which is very uncomfortable. Um, so I had planned to start a podcast or not a podcast, you're doing the podcast. I had planned to start a YouTube channel before, before we even left Canada. So, um, my channel is about our life in London as of March this year. We moved in the middle of the pandemic and I originally had just... planned to start recording and filming this whole adventure before we left. And I'm not going to lie. I was too scared. Like I couldn't do it. I sat in my living room with boxes all around me multiple times trying to record. And every time I'm like, no. Yeah. Yeah. You not need it. to definitely be in the right headspace for that. Yeah. And at the start of a global <laughs> pandemic is definitely not the right headspace to be no. diving into a YouTube channel. No, not to mention planning to uproot Plus like our entire life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so yeah. what made you leave? Like, were, were you already planning on leaving Canada? And then it just so happened that this uh, pandemic like coincided or were you like pandemic serial? Let's get the hell out. No. Yeah. No. I mean, if that was the case, we were sorely <laughs> misguided because the yeah. UK is not a great oh, time yeah. with the pandemic. The yeah. <laughs> so no, that wasn't it. Um, actually, the pandemic delayed us a little bit. Like we planned on, we were actually hoping to be here last December and it just like wasn't working out and we weren't, we really weren't able to get out of the country. Like it was just really difficult. So I guess like kind of what ended up happening was like, we were always people who said we would live abroad. Like we would always, we'd always be open to that. And mm -hmm. then we, <laughs> I say this in one of my episodes and like for classic North Americans, we go to one European country, one, we go to Switzerland for our honeymoon and we're like, oh yeah, Europe is great. Yeah. Yeah. I All of totally... Europe is great based on this one honeymoon yeah. experience. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I could at, totally at live peak. there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. No, you're like I, whining and dining, you know, like loving life. Yeah, Last you're like, this must be every day. <laughs> yeah. 
it's not entirely true. There were definitely some parts of Switzerland that I didn't love, but I mean, overall, you didn't like the cheese or I had way too much cheese. Like I, I haven't had a fondue since. (laughs) That could be what was bad about it. It ruined (laughs) cheese. Yeah. That's what sucks. Some people are like, oh, you, you'll never have like chocolate until you go to Belgium. I'm like, I don't want to have that chocolate because then I can never have that chocolate again. I don't live in Belgium. (laughs) Like, yeah. And I'm not paying those import fees (laughs) just to get better chocolate. Yeah. I'm interested though. I, I like the, the word plans uh, to go off of that because I want to just go back to what you were saying about Mm -hmm. um, how your best laid plans never work out. Do you mean like you'll have expectations Mm -hmm. set forth of like the steps of it's going to take, like it's going to be this linear process. And then every time it's not that way. Yeah. You know, I've always been told like, Oh, Michelle, you're so good at coping with change. You know, I'm like, yeah, it's because I plan the shit out of it. (laughs) Like I have, I have a plan and then another plan and then a plan on top of that plan. And like, if all of that doesn't work then worst case scenario, this is what I'll do. And that's, how I have always coped with like major life changes. And this isn't my first move. I've done this multiple times. Like I've, I I moved when I was what, 12 from BC to Ontario, which is a horrible time to move. Like parents don't do that to your children. 12 (laughs) years old. Holy. (laughs) Don't move them in the middle of winter from a beautiful place like Vancouver to Ontario. Just don't. Uh, I don't think I'd ever move again after that. That sounds traumatic. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. So that was move number one. And then, yeah, so I've done this. Right. And then I and then I lived in Costa Rica for a bit. And then I moved back to B.C. for school, uh, graduated, was like sleeping on my friend's couch, pretty much like essentially homeless. And then my mom's like, yeah, you're going to have to come back. Like, you can't, like, what are you going to do with your psychology degree? (laughs) I go work at a big psychology firm downtown. (laughs) You know, like, what are you going to do with that? So I think, I think you need to come home. And I did. And, but through all of that, that's always how I coped was like, Mm. okay, I'll just have like a million contingency plans. Yeah. And like being able to go home is also uh, a plan that you're lucky to have too, you know, like. Totally. um, that I have a family that like, well, yeah, it, I find back. it strange when people are yeah. like ashamed of that, or like, they don't want to go back to their parents. I'm like, you know how some people would kill to have that opportunity yeah. to be able to just go back to their yeah. parents and kind of like reset for a second. Like totally. Yeah, totally. So when you get, so like later on in life, right. And you get to the adult place where now you have responsibilities, right. Like, mm-hmm. like a house and uh, uh, marriage and a dog and all of this stuff. And then you're like, okay, so I'm going to, um, oh, and a career. <laughs> There's that too. And so you're like, yeah. So in, um, the span of two months, I'm going to just, uh, walk away from that, all of it. And I, I don't know how I realized it, but I was like, I know what I'm, I know what my inclination is. My inclination is to like plan the crap out of this. Like I need to find a job and do this and like plan this and start looking at flats and like, Mm -hmm. and I, what what do you fear? Like, what do you fear if there's no plan? Like if, if you're doing something, um, yeah. cause I, I'm, I'm a male, so I've done things impulsively a, a lot throughout <laughs> yeah. my life, quit yeah. jobs on the spot, been like, no, yeah. fuck you. I'm, I'm leaving no backup plan. Like literally no idea. <laughs> yeah. And then later I feel the, the like, oh shit, like I got to uh, figure something out. Right. Mm-hmm. Have you, have you done that before? Have you like had taken that leap where you were like, even just a small example of anything? I'm sure I have. I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I have. It's hard to, it's hard to pinpoint it. Cause I'm just so. I'm you remember so too much like of that. all of yeah. the planning. Yeah. 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 It would be yeah. an off personality moment. Yeah. It's a really good question though. And I think I could certainly find examples of doing that. Um, I mean, I've done some like really spontaneous things in life. Like I've gone skydiving and I didn't know I was doing that an hour before I did it. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, yeah. Well, that's right there. That's what I mean. That's so yeah, 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 yeah. I have, that's pretty impulsive. Where, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I called my mom. I called my mom like, so, um, I was my birthday. I think I was, Oh, it was the end of university. So I would have been like, what? 21, something 21. Good way to use that degree. Just jump right yeah. out of an airplane. Just everything, <laughs> everything I learned just threw it right at, literally right out of the window. <laughs> 
yeah I, I've called my mom and I'm like um so uh, she's like happy birthday I'm like okay great thanks um I'm in Abbotsford and I'm going to jump out of this plane and she's like are they gonna film it and I'm like <laughs> sounds yeah. like a threat yeah. it sounds like send me a thousand dollars or <laughs> throw myself out of this airplane mom yeah yeah exactly like let's see what happens um yeah but I did it it was great I still watch that video actually it's it's very entertaining yeah I mean I would you know? do it I, yeah. there was a video recently that I saw someone jumping out of an airplane and do they have someone like there's someone obviously filming you yeah. right that jumps it's, out too yeah she she thought that the, that guy was there for like support so she was just oh. like holding on to his shoe the entire time <laughs> so her it's whole like, video is just her holding the video yeah. on her shoe <laughs> so great <laughs> yeah he's like uh yeah this is not this is oh, not that's what I signed ba- up for that's gonna be a bad video <laughs> but what made yeah. you so for the YouTube channel, like you're doing mm-hmm. travel vlogs and stuff like that? Was that uh, something that you had always wanted to do? Was it the move that kind of sparked that? Yeah, it was the move that sparked it. The idea, the idea was simply to it was like letters to home, like trying to keep our family updated without having to send like ten messages every time something cool happens, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. or like or like having to like Zoom call with or FaceTime with people constantly to update them. Um, we still do that. Um, but like, I just, yeah, I was like, I just need like an outlet. I also needed an outlet. I needed something to like occupy my time, um, and to do something kind of creative. So it, the idea was just like, let's just do something creative. Let's do something to document what's happening. And, um, maybe our family will watch it <laughs> <laughs> and your hubby was down for it he was like yeah I'll, I'm, I'm in yeah yeah he is he's I mean he's he loves it he loves that I do it and he's like very behind the scenes like supporting me but getting him on camera is he's camera shy easiest. that's funny. yeah it's not the easiest <laughs> thing to do ever um so we get lots of complaints from our family and friends being like why is he on the camera more but, <laughs> but the idea around plans was that I I essentially decided to like skydive again and throw all of my plans out the window um which has just been a bizarre experience like being here and really all that I have to do is like explore and vlog that's it. Yeah. That's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty great choice to, in, in terms of like deciding to part from like everything else that you had, had that built up before. Yeah. yeah. P- I think people are starting to realize that they're like, it seems less crazy now of a thing mm-hmm. to be like, I'm a YouTuber. Like I remember yeah. like telling people that I was a YouTuber and they would look at me like, I guess that's a thing. Like they <laughs> still didn't really understand it. I still don't think yeah. my parents understand They're like, what do you talk all. about? Yeah, yeah. They're like, I don't, huh? What is it? And then I, <laughs> what do you, you know. do? <laughs> <laughs> but now it's becoming more of a common thing. And I honestly yeah. think that like, especially with this metaverse thing that Mark Zuckerberg mm-hmm. is creating, yeah, there's going to be all of these new jobs that are just online. Like I work purely from home. I, yeah. I do everything from right here in this room yeah and yeah. I feel like super lucky to do it and I went to school for something completely different that I'm <laughs> sure I could have a career in right now that yeah. most people would kill for but yeah my uh, it's like I, I think the less I think the more that people move on to these like online careers where they can where there's like real passion there and maybe Mm -hmm. a bit of like skill and technique like your videos like it's not like they're getting no views like you have like lots of views on your videos they're edited very well they're like nice clean quality shots not everyone can do that so the people that can do that it's like start doing it online and open up those positions let's call it the in the real world (laughs) yeah for people who are who are moving up you know yeah just getting out of school or like you know, not going to college and just deciding to get a job. Yeah. Well, I encourage it saying those things, first of all, because I think I said this to you recently, like I just rewatched episode one. I'm only this week. It's always a good thing to do to humble yourself. Oh God. This week is 20. (laughs) This week is episode 27, which by now I would have already, it would have already be filmed and I'd already be like, brooding over my computer editing and I'm like man I'll do it tomorrow yeah yeah. (laughs) like that's changed but watching episode one back is is like already painful for me to Mm -hmm. watch and it's interesting because I I follow a lot of youtubers that I admire um that do things that I think are really cool and interesting and a lot of them say like they can't watch themselves 
it's a common, common, common thing that you hear yeah. in like anyone who creates something really is yeah. that they're always trying to do better than like their, their, their first stuff. People always like, maybe in terms of music, they'll say like, oh no, the first stuff was like the greatest stuff. Cause it was but that's so not, organic. Yeah. But it's not even like, it's, that's not even like the first stuff. The first stuff no. was them like learning how to play an instrument and singing for the first time. And that's the it stuff was, that you would cringe at. Like, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> There's even, uh, I think it was on Netflix, there was like a breakdown where like voc- uh, different bands like sat down with this guy who had completely deconstructed their vocals on some of their biggest songs. So like they took the Killers, for example, I think it was, is it Mr. Sunshine? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it Mr. Sunshine? Mr. Brightside. Mr. Brightside. Brightside. Yeah. Mr. Brightside. Yeah. So they broke, they broke down the vocals and then... Um, like he heard it back for like the first time in a really long time of just his raw voice. And you could see him like wanting to leave the room. Like it looked like his soul had left his body and he was just sitting there like, Oh God, please make it end. I think one of you, one other person too was like offended. They were like, how did you get this? No one is allowed to have this. Like (laughs) what has happened? Somebody's getting fired. Like he was so upset. I can't remember who it was, but yeah. that that to me is the sign that you're like improving though that's what I said mm-hmm. to you as well was like it just yeah. means that your taste has changed in like what's good mm-hmm. so that's a good thing because now yeah. you're going to be like applying the stuff that you don't like about your earlier stuff and then fixing it for for the future stuff and just getting better and better and better you know by, yeah. by episode a thousand you'll have nailed it completely right Absolutely. it'll be seamless at that point Wow, if I like, you hang on, it, if, if I hang on until episode a thousand, like I don't know where this Canadian will be, like abroad still. Like I don't even know where I'll be a thousand episodes now. Just kind of cool. It'll just be a, a Canadian in Canada. Well, I <laughs> it's, was that. It circles back. <laughs> I was that recently, and I was like, "This is hard. This is how do I, how do I film my life in Canada and make it interesting." Mm. You know, because what am I inclined to do when I go home? Just like lay around, you know, cuddle my yep. cat, my dog, those are who I haven't things, seen in six months, right? Like literally all, all things that things you things could, I like, want to do. Top yeah. 10 list of, or whatever yeah. kind of style of video you want to do. But like, yeah, yeah, I, I'm just sharing that. I think even just sharing like, you know, say if you're, you know, don't call it stuck, but you're, you're stuck back in Canada instead of being in the UK where you want to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Lean into it. And like, it doesn't always have to be like a, a positive message, I think too. Like sometimes I always preach like positivity, but I'm like, sometimes yeah. I want to, I want to hear somebody like ranting about their bad day. Yeah. You know, I, I haven't like, gone that far yeah. yet. Get that out, you know. Yeah, I haven't gone that far yet. I'm like slow. It's like I'm slowly adjusting what I'm comfortable with, you know. I my previous, I'm I'm not gonna like talk too much about my previous work, but what I did do required so much confidentiality, right? Like mm. I couldn't. I just there was so much censoring that I was required to do for my work. So and I was doing it all the time, and then I was working at home. So now it's like, I'm now censored in my home, right? Yeah, that's- <laughs> So I, yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm still coming out of that. Like I'm still slowly, I try to, I, I am very much myself on camera, but I, I'm i like, I, I barely swear. And if I do, I bleep myself out, but that's more because my niece and nephew watch. I'm like- Yeah, everybody has it. And it's better <laughs> to see videos as well, it right? Is, yeah, so. <laughs> it is. I try to like do that, but- I, You'll, like, you'll hit a wider audience. Of, yeah, in terms of like, you know- how opinionated do I want to be you know or like how um how honest do I want to be about this issue or what's really going on or any of that right it's just like I think it takes time once you put yourself out there on the internet to like build that comfort I mean some people are just like some people just fly right into it but I love that (laughs) some people are just like overly opinionated like they have to have an opinion on everything and I've stopped trying to be that guy where I've got to like always be doing a video on like (laughs) what's happening whether it's like politics or culture Mm -hmm. it's like I don't have to comment on everything Mm -hmm. all the time Mm -hmm. like I don't need to be always tweeting about the latest whatever happened um, I do that enough for my job that I'm like in my personal stuff, it's just going to be me who I am like talking yeah. to people. And um, like even earlier when I first tried to do this podcast, 
I was leaning in a more like political discussion, pop culture type thing. And then I, like you said, I just cringed at those episodes. Cause I was just like, eh, it doesn't feel like me anymore. Like it doesn't feel like the type of person I, I don't care about any of political, whatever. Yeah. It's like, I can watch people spin themselves in a, like in, in a circle, a just trying to, in a tizzy. Yeah. Trying yeah. to, trying solve to argue problems. and solve the world's problems. Yeah. Over yeah. politics. And it's like, yeah, you're not going to yeah. do it in this discussion. I'm nuts. No. Yeah, and I'm not gonna do it over a YouTube video that gets no. a thousand plays. So no, it's like I try, to, just I try to stick enjoy to like it. I try to stick to like you know like London litters and like I don't like that. You know I don't need to come on camera and tell you how much I hate it, but I can show you <laughs> through my creative editing that I don't like it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. you can definitely do that yeah. if you if if the proof is right in front of them. That's a little more indisputable. If you're just like, here's somebody here's literally some- throwing trash on the ground right in front of me. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah. Or my favorite. I'm just gonna go on a litter rant for a minute. Go but for like it. My, my favorite is like people picnic here everywhere, right? So they're like, and they picnic so well. Like they have the bottle of prosecco and the glasses and the the meats and the cheeses they've got it all they're serious they they sit there and they you know chat and they have their picnic and then they just get up and walk away and you're like wait they just leave it for the rats or what (laughs) like wait a minute i'm i'm so sorry hi i I feel like as a canadian we'd be like oh hi i'm so sorry um you forgot some of your things (laughs) Oh, I'm so sorry. It seems you left some of your picnic stuff over there. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, I think uh, you might have left some things that you need to pick up. <laughs> you know? No, not here. They just walk away. My because God. Someone's, someone's going to clean it up. That's the thing, right? It's like there's people for that. Someone's going to clean that up. <sighs> That's so. what happens, right? As soon as they set that expectation that somebody <laughs> is going to clean it up for them, then, yeah, they'll just naturally start leaving stuff everywhere. Oh, that's yeah. a problem. Yeah, that's yeah. annoying. Because then if the people picking it up don't want to pick it up anymore, then you just got shit everywhere. And then well, you got people. Yeah. That's a bad just, system. <laughs> you know, look it up. There's a there's a historical uh, litter problem in London. England is London is ready to fall. <laughs> when, the, when the trash <laughs> no, reaches getting, the top of the We're getting bank. buried. We're getting yeah, buried getting... in all this junk. <laughs> My God. Has there been um like before moving there, had you visited yeah. London before or no. was it like no, so no, you've never been to London before. Switzerland. Just Switzerland. It. That's it. Wow. That's wow. it. I I had never the only time I had gone like over the pond was to Switzerland. That's it. So I had no idea. What, what made I you was... sink your teeth into London? What was like, yes, let's go to London. It, <laughs> that that part isn't the interesting part of the story because like it was just Eric's work. Right. So, oh, his, okay. Okay. His well, company, that's a reason. Yeah. His yeah. company, like their head office is here, and he wanted to start uh, working with the global team. So he applies for a position. And we're like, well, you're probably not going to get it, you know, but it's, it's good. It's good that we broaden our horizons and, you know, put the cards on the table, whatever <laughs> weird cliche you want to put in insert here. Um, and then it happened and they offered it to him and we're like, oh shit. Um, I guess like, now we're going to move. Choice. Yeah. And he could have stayed, um, especially with the pandemic, he could have stayed and, and done it from there, but he was working on London time and we're five hours apart. Right. So for me, it's like almost 10 40. Right. Yeah. So imagine what life was kind of looking like at that point. And he also has like business partners in other countries like Asia. So like, he was getting up at like 3, 4 a.m. to go on a call. Damn, that's crazy. It was just getting a little out of control. So we're like, yeah, hey, maybe we will move. And the time frame from when we said, okay, maybe we'll move to when we did move was two months. That's and a quick just, turnaround. Yeah, it just like happened. And I literally quit my job. And then two days later, like I quit my job, did my last two weeks. And then two days later, we were on a plane. Damn. And I was like... <laughs> did you get most like because uh my girlfriend kim and i just moved to mm-hmm. ottawa and she had never been to ottawa before so that was like, right. like all right yeah sure let's do it we just got most of our stuff when we got here so it was an easier low but i couldn't imagine like flying to another <laughs> country like what's that process like um okay we we're we're privileged 
let me just put that out there. All I right. mean, other than being white <laughs> and North American, we're privileged in that uh, because we were moving with Eric's work, um, we got a relocation agent who helped us out. So that was really great because as soon as we started talking to her, she like set us up with temporary accommodations um, and kind of like helped us book our flights and helped us deal with the whole COVID situation wow. and yeah and so that answered a lot of questions because we we're like what's going to happen when we get there yeah like, yeah it's kind of like a had, liaison to yeah. like help you through everything nice yeah and we had to quarantine and do all of that but um yeah so that like really helped the helped the process along but we did go carry on only so <laughs> we both had two small suitcases and backpacks for we didn't know how long until we would like find a flat and be able to ship our stuff to us. So we were like living out of just like tiny little flat with not pretty much nothing. Yeah. It was weird. That's brave though. I mean, like, yeah. I feel like once you do something like that, it just, anything else just feels like super easy. Yeah. You know what I mean, like once you put yourself through that kind of yeah. like, screen and struggle and stress and planning yeah. and you're you're looking at all these you could plan your day no problem like at least at least remind yourself like hey I did that you know like, I, I can yeah. this day is gonna be fine like, I'll figure yeah. this shit out I yeah. planned a trip I moved abroad yeah well the, the other thing to add to this whole thing is that we decided to keep our house so it's a it's like our income property now so it's a rental oh and nice like, yeah and a couple months ago we found that both of our up. tenants were moving out so our tenants were like long-standing one was a family member mm -hmm. the other person had lived with us for literally ever like when we had bought our house he moved in and he had been with us that whole time and he's like yeah i'm moving out we're like oh my god how do we deal with this over here <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a great idea on paper you know yeah, plans yeah. right it sounds yeah. like a great idea to have a nice stream an extra stream of income always sounds like a great idea okay to let income go by yeah, yeah. contractor uh, property management company deal with our taxes like it's just damn. like <sighs> why sounds, why did we think this was a good idea <laughs> that sounds like assistant work like yeah, <laughs> yeah well point. you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Canadian abroad is going to need to like be sufficiently monetized for that so <laughs> yeah true true yeah. true and then you can just hire someone to do all the editing at least for you and then it frees up even more time no that's the part I like you know you enjoy the editing part yeah. so, some people hate that part but uh what, what do you enjoy most about editing is it like the fact that you get to because what I enjoy about it is like the final say over like what is in the video right like I the video is as good as I yeah. make it like I have full creative control over that mm -hmm. um <laughs> it's hard to it's it's almost hard to say because I'm like I don't know if I'm actually good at this or not but the idea is like the more I work at it the more I'm trying to create like a journey like a like I kind of book mm. at it it's like I'm kind of taking you on like a little bit of like a some kind of adventure like story or telling you some kind of story or pull it, trying to pull you into like whatever it is I'm doing. Yeah. That's the great thing with vlogs that you can yeah. do with that is like, tell that story throughout it. Yeah. So that you're not just, because I just personally, what I don't, what I don't love is like, just me. What one of the, I watch a video and I don't love it. It's because I'm just sitting there and I'm like, there's not a B roll. There's not enough, like me actually doing the thing. Like those mm. videos I don't love. Um, so what I like the editing, cause then I get to kind of create the experience, right? Cause me just sitting yeah. there talking at you is, I mean, I can be funny sometimes, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> right. But like me just sitting there talking at you is not really an experience. Like you really have to like me a lot yeah. to find that to be a satisfactory YouTube experience. And I just, that's not going to be the case. So, you know, like you gotta, I don't know, you gotta create an experience. That's why I like to edit because I get to do that at that point. I get that. I get that. I bet you could train someone though to edit in a similar style or Probably. fashion That's at true. some point. Like if you wanted to double down on like the YouTube channel and start mm -hmm. doing even more, like you could even if once it's obviously like monetized and and you're getting like a decent um, 
you know, return, I guess you would say on, on yeah. viewers that are coming back to every video where you're like, okay, I know for sure any video I put up is going to get at least, you know, 2k or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. You could have someone even just like film, film, like film some B-roll stuff, send that stuff in, like edit stuff. You could have, mm-hmm. I I'm, I just think of like travel vlog channels specifically. Like, I think the biggest thing it's, it's easy when it comes to travel vlog because there's so many other people that are also doing travel vlogs, but mm-hmm. there can be so many people doing travel vlogs because, you know, there's so many places like, man, there's so many different opinions and perspectives on things. Yeah. But I think whatever your niche is, just try to like connect with that community even more because there could be stuff that you could see like somebody else doing and reach out to them. And then you like collaborate on, on yeah. something like maybe somebody comes and reviews a similar I don't know castle or something that you had gone to and then you kind of like chat with them about their experience cross promote each other I would love that that'd be so fun yeah that's the thing I feel like I haven't tapped into yet I haven't quite tapped into like the community Mm. aspect of YouTube that people talk about a lot um and I started like in the sense that I'm like okay who do I who do I subscribe to who do I follow do I, you know, making sure that I comment on a new video, like that's so important. Yeah. If if there's anything that you can do, it's like making yourself visible and like commenting on other people's content. Right. Um, so like, that's just like, I've kind of gotten a little bit more serious about recently because I'd love that. I'd love to like be more part of the yeah, everyone always loves the media part of, of social media, but they forget the social part. <laughs> I know, right? They just like to put their stuff out there, but they yeah, don't yeah, actually yeah. participate. <laughs> I mean, it is important to have stuff out there because like, mm-hmm. I think the more, that's why you need to be like consistent with what you're uh, putting out, you know, whether it's like, like this podcast, I'm like, I can only do two episodes a week. So I'm only doing two episodes a week, but it's consistently on the same days at the yeah. same time. And then that way, if there's ever anything like a video pops off, when people like come to see more, they have like a backlog of like videos that yeah. they can now go through um, to entertain themselves, really. Yeah. The number of times people have been like, oh, it's okay. Like, just why don't you just like post it on Friday? I'm like, no. Yeah. You're like, it's a job. I have to. <laughs> it's like, my job. Like, no, I mean, it's not, it, it's my job, right? It's my vacation. Yeah. It's my whatever it is. You I'm have to treat it like early. that though. Because it can pay to. you like a job. It could. Yeah. And, and it I'm not pay doing myself something. any, yeah, I'm not doing myself any favors if I'm like, just like, oh, Tuesday feels good this week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine you did that. Like you worked at like Subway or something and right? you, you're like, nah, they're like, I want I'm lettuce. You're like, you're like, no, no lettuce. Taste, <laughs> or you're just like tomatoes. <laughs> I know I'm scheduled for Wednesday, but I'm going to go in on Friday. Like, yeah. no, they need you on Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, you can't just pick or choose like what works yeah. for you, you know? That's the hard thing though that everyone struggles with with like being your own boss or like doing mm-hmm. your own thing is like it's so easy to just give give in to yourself and be like cut yourself a break and and like yeah. just relax and not do anything. It's like, no, do the thing. Like tell yourself this is what we have to do and do it at mm-hmm. that time. Mm-hmm. I remember I had a, a guest drop out on the time that I like had scheduled to do a podcast yeah. and I was like, mm-hmm. guess I'm doing a solo podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Like yeah. I could, I could message some people, but that'll look bad. You know, like, like a last second, like, Hey, yeah. uh, you want to do my podcast right now? Like, yeah. like, like no. literally right now. Yeah. Like, you no, know, not anyone, really. If anyone messaged me that I'd be like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I can't just no. commit to an hour right at this second, but I, I can. I, I, know I, yeah. are. I don't know anybody who can, other than maybe us. Like, yeah, I, I would yeah. probably do it. Yeah. You're like, I'm done. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I'll have that too. I'll like go through, have a bunch of guests and start circling back and then talking to people again. Yeah. I'm, all, so I'm already going to have Patrick up. on again. Yeah. 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 Just like an update so like see what's changed. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I enjoy yeah. doing that. I remember yeah, I was cool. talking with uh, Rick Rowley and we were like, going through his word was anxiety and then at the end of it I asked him how he's feeling he's like well after this little therapy session and I was like is, is that what this is <laughs> like I'm feeling much better thank you Johnny thank like, you. have I turned into a content content creator therapist <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's yeah, what the show is I just interview <laughs> yeah. content creators and be like how you doing <laughs> so how, what brings you here today how, how, how are, are you doing? feeling yeah yeah tell me about your content is it pleasing? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. How do yeah. you feel about YouTube taking away the dislike button? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I feel like you it invalidates. The, mir- <laughs> the miracle question. If you were to close your eyes, go to sleep, and you wake up the next day and everything is different. <laughs> What, what was that? that what would be different? You're like, mm, it's like what do you mean? What would be different? A lot of stuff. I'd be richer, younger. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's it. Right. Is the, it's the, the thing is, I think having like a vision and having goals and um, honestly, just saying yes to opportunities, because that's what, that's what my life has been lately is just like, let's just say yes and just see what happens and not necessarily plan the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's going to mean. You know, I've been here, uh, since March. So we're approaching a year, which is just baffling to me. Um, you know, I'm 27 episodes into a blog on YouTube and I feel like not much has changed. (laughs) But I'm sure it has. You're 27 you know? episodes in though. Like yeah, that's 27 sure. episodes you had that didn't weren't there before, right? Exactly. As I, I always try to reiterate yeah. to people is that like life is not linear in any fashion. Like it, it takes you a million yeah. different ways to Sunday. And the important thing I think for living like or what feels like a long life or what feels like a full year is to fill it with shit that you enjoy so yeah. like by you creating 27 vlogs you're like this was a good year i had 27 vlogs that i made and i moved here and there's all of these like little milestones that you can yeah. kind of marker yourself with throughout the year so it feels yeah. like more time it's like really odd yeah it's also like i would just say like doing the vlog in itself has been really grounding because it's it's actually given me some kind of structure in a week, mm. first of all, which is really, for me, really important. But also it's like giving me a chance to kind of process some of the stuff that comes up when you leave your home, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and giving me like a space to like, sometimes I talk about that, you know, sometimes I talk about, it's not, it looks great. It sounds really great. You're like, <clears throat> oh yeah, we moved to England and people are like, that's so cool. And you're like, yeah also though not <laughs> yeah. cool sometimes <laughs> there are things that are not cool yeah yeah definitely i bet if you days. made pros and cons of like doing that too there's people out yeah. there that are like will not only find it relatable because you're mm-hmm. being honest with your content but they'll also like be yeah. educated by it like if if i'm looking to move abroad which i will at, at some point yeah. um I, I want to know, like, what are the, what's the worst shit that happened to people? Like, what's yeah. the, what do I avoid? What do I look out for? You know? Yeah. I'm certainly going to do some of that. I'm going to do some like Canadian UK comparisons. I'm going to do some. Oh yeah. Like, like culture just, shock like, things. Oh yeah. The I've been waiting. I've been waiting because I you want to tease that video. Well, it's not even that I want to tease it. Like, I just feel like you need to have enough time you have to have enough time in the place that you've moved to, to be able to speak to it mm. and have it be not only relatable, but like somewhat accurate, you know, like you need yeah, to, okay. I don't want to base it off of just like my, my initial reactions because it's totally different when you live someplace for a period of time versus like when you're vacationing or just visiting. So I wanted to make sure I, before I do that and I will do it, I just need to make sure I have the right info to share with everybody. <laughs> You know, well, well, based off of like just <clears throat> now we know there will be a fully educated yeah. video coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what so far has been like the biggest like culture shock or change for you? Honestly, it's like the simplest of things. Like you're, you're like, there's no Tim Hortons. <laughs> well, there's there's that, but there's plenty of other options, so that's okay. But <laughs> it's the simplest of things, like greeting people. Like I walk into the gym, and at the last time I felt this was in Costa Rica when I didn't speak Spanish yet, you know? Mm. And I'd like, I'd like, uh, they would like look at you, like I'm making eye contact and they're going to like talk to you and you're like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I don't speak. And you're like, no, I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Don't do it, you know? Um, and I remember that feeling. And so it's not as intense as that by any means because we're mm-hmm. speaking English. So it's yeah. all right. But it's the, I don't know how to respond to your greeting. Because they ask you, you all right. And you're like, Yes. <laughs> Should I not be? Like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. How are you? And they're like, but then they look at you weird. Like that's not the right response. Uh uh-uh. it's they didn't ask you how are you? They don't care. <laughs> just yell pip pip and just keep walking. <laughs> I don't know. How do you know? Like just like 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, so the, the correct response is you say, you all right back. Okay. So it's like, you all right, you all right. It's like, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Okay. That or, would be, if I said, hey, what's up to somebody? And then they said, hey, what's up? I'd be like, did you not hear me? Or <laughs> yeah. what's happening? That's, that's why it's awkward. Okay. You that's can, so weird. You can have fun. I'm laying down here. So that's why it's awkward. The other response, which I'm going to, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, I'm going to do it is you just say, yeah, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. You just say, yeah, you. And that's, that's it though. There's, there's no, they don't typically respond to it. Wow. But then sometimes so I think if you're more familiar with the person, they might start talking about how they really are. I don't still see this is awkward. <laughs> it depends on how, how open they are as people. <laughs> depends on what their sign is. Them? Are I they a know. cancer? Are they? <laughs> it's really awkward, you know, trying God, to just say yeah, hi to somebody. Weird. Yeah. Is how's the food? Is it really bland? Like everybody says? No, no. That's good. That is, that's good. That is a folks. That's a London myth. That's not. That's not. A I just myth. made that myth up right now. I don't know. If that's no, you didn't. Up. That is. <laughs> oh wait, that something is, you've heard before? Yeah, it's a common, a very, mm. very well known. That's probably you. you yeah, the you common realize, thing is what, rainy and bland food. Okay. Yeah, it rains a lot. It was raining all day today. I had all it's these British Vancouver things I was gonna do. It yeah, is you rain at home though. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. I was going to do plenty of things today, but it was like way too windy to go out and film. Like it was just like really bad. So I'm like, meh, I'm going to do something else this week. Yeah. That Plans, wouldn't be right? good for the tech the equipment. Yeah. yeah. No, but yeah. It, it's like, Hey, you can refocus your energy. In other ways, I would even say, uh, have you tried TikTok? Cause I'm telling everyone oh. to try TikTok. I know. I've all, heard you say this. All you have to do is take a minute clip. Can be okay. less than that. It could be 30 okay. seconds. Okay. of of maybe your best video take okay. a minute edit that like, out cut it um, down yeah use the sequence do, what do you edit in adobe premiere or no i use filmora okay well, whatever it is get the sequence yes. settings to be like what tiktok is i think it's like yeah. 1920 by i don't know what the dimensions are but yeah. yeah yeah get that and then size it and i'm telling you put in the proper hashtags of like travel vlog whatever you know london okay. and then a little short caption the amount of views you get on there is ridiculous. Even if you get 150 views, it's 150 views. But yeah, like some of them, especially if it's good footage, like your yeah. stuff there, there's no, there's no reason why I won't get like thousands okay. of views. All right, Johnny, listen. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, like, I'm also Canadian pushing. To, this might be TikTok. a content creator therapy, but I'm also sponsored by TikTok, I guess. <laughs> I keep promoting TikTok on every podcast. They're going to be like, we should just sponsor this guy's podcast. Yeah. He really enjoys us. But it's cool because you can link. I'll also be famous on TikTok. Yeah, there you go. Because <laughs> it links to everything too. Like yeah. it'll link you, link to YouTube and it'll link you to, to Instagram. So I, I think yeah. it's worthwhile for every content creator to just be posting on literally everything. Cool. Even if you pull up a Twitter and just like pump out, you know, here's some things to avoid here. Or like, here's like my top 10 tips at this castle to like, you know, Easter eggs you can find there and then put a yeah, link to yeah. a video you do or something. Just yeah. always like teasing it on every platform is, is yeah. so good. Yeah. I think when I, when I was home in Canada for a couple of months, I completely just like fell off the face of the earth. Like I was still publishing videos, but like my Instagram just fell mm. apart. Like everything fell apart. Like I just was like, I can't manage renovating my house. No. <laughs> Having a vlog, being with my family and spending as much time with my dog as possible and also maintain social media. Like I just can't do it. It was just too much. So now that That's I'm back and I'm home. Saying I yes to everything. It. You should also say no to some things. Yeah. <laughs> true it's true <laughs> like it's like yeah be open to maybe yeah. new ideas but like yeah. you gotta look at what's on your plate and be like yeah. no I cannot do that like I'm it's, not gonna overwhelm myself it's precisely what happened I was like Instagram is the least of my worries at this yeah. point <laughs> you're like, I don't really don't care, really care. the algorithm <laughs> don't like care all, all you have to do is just post again and then it just hmm. starts up again like it's that place never yeah. leaves which people it, it blows my mind that people like live like talking about the metaverse stuff, I can already see that there's going to be people that are just living like online. Like, like it's one thing to work and make money from, from this, but like yeah. to live there, I don't want to live on YouTube. <laughs> no, 
It doesn't you know, seem really, like a good existence. Yeah. I really like the separateness. You know, I like life. Like, life is yeah. fun. You know, yeah. going for walks and seeing a bunny or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and I also, I also have developed a very firm boundaries around. I don't vlog all the time. Mm. Like, yeah, just you don't want to be doing that something person. cool. Yeah. Or fun doesn't mean it needs to go in an episode. Thank you. This is a message to all content creators. <laughs> I don't it's, want to see you at Coachella at like 3,000 people. This is my vlog of me at Coachella. Just, just, just a moment. Nope, I just put it away. It. Just, just eat some Molly and enjoy the concert, kids. Just go have a good time. <laughs> you know? It's, it's yeah, that's, you need no. like, that. that's the importance of scheduling that. That's why you like plan when you're going to do those things. Coming right yeah. back to the word plans is so that you can enjoy the free time and not feel that pressure of like, I should I be recording this right now? Do I need oh. to be recording this right now? Like that's. And that's how I much. decided. That's how I decided that was because I felt that. And I was like, mm. oh, I didn't bring my camera. And then I'm like, what is that? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, what's that feeling? That's not my <laughs> life. Like what oh I didn't bring my camera I'm so somehow sad that's... I didn't take a picture of this meal <laughs> somehow that is going to impact my experience like actually it's the reverse because yeah. when so like when I'm vlogging it I do it twice I do it in real life and then I do it again mm. a lot yeah, of the you time. want to experience it first yeah. and then you'll go back over it yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's yeah. not always true like there are certain things that but I in do. cases yeah okay, yeah sure. but I've I've done just like in in the moment naturally but yeah like a lot of the time it's it's going to impact what uh what the experience feels like because you're curating it you know you just can't get around this this is just this is just like facts of the of the craft like you're curating it so like it's yeah. like what angle am I going to look at this particular statue yeah. from is it better over here is it better down here you know like yeah you got to like suss it out first especially yeah. if you're doing something like uh like the travel vlogs like you're doing you want to yeah. make sure that you're getting it at the best way yeah but you know, there's nothing for- worse than like going out with friends or something and there's oh. just someone that's just constantly filming and you're like you don't need to have a thousand updates on your Instagram stories of what's happening right no. now. <laughs> no, I mean, so far I haven't gotten any complaints. Everybody yeah, yeah. Who, yeah. Everybody who's you're being conscious me, though. I can yeah. tell there's a conscious effort to yeah. like, no, I'm not going to film yeah. that. I'm going to enjoy that. Yeah. But. Everybody who consents to be in a video, they're always like really nervous. And then, and then they do it and they're like, oh, that was fine. I'm like, yeah, because yeah. I don't film like a weirdo. Like, yeah, you're I'm like, I'm not like, asking here, you to do, do, <laughs> yeah, do backflips off this thing. Like, yeah. what do I'm you like, think I was going to do? Like, I'm just trying to document our lives. Like, you just do whatever it is. That you, pretend I'm not here. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to do anything. I'm just going to make sure I get the right angle. Yeah, it's fascinating <laughs> to me how like with, with YouTube, like, well, I guess yeah, you could say even before YouTube, people always enjoyed like, you know, shots of nature or shots mm-hmm. of landscape. I think it's that like desire to be kind of the, especially with vlogs, I think it's that desire to be in that friend group almost to be that like fly on the wall that's kind of like falling around and that's what the camera really is it's it's the viewer's perspective almost like when we're doing a podcast like I I don't like having this side by side I like having the single screen and it'll flip back and forth when we're talking because then it looks like we're looking right at the viewer who's watching on YouTube I meant to change that and I never did and then now that you mentioned it but I mean we're almost done I believe so you know can we just whatever but you're right because it it totally it totally changed oh that's so much better <laughs> you're very large now <laughs> but you've proved a point you've totally proved a point because it does it feels completely different like this yeah, yeah having yeah. you full screen versus yeah it, it, it's it's inter- it's interesting like um and I and I honestly think that that's how like a lot of Cause I, I almost like study like what other content creators are doing as well. And like, mm-hmm. I look at like the vlog squad and like all of these different groups that kind of like form together. Why are they like the Nelk boys, let's say, for example, why are they so popular? It's like, yeah. it's that like group hang. It's that, it's that friend dynamic that they have. It's that thing that other people are like, oh, that would be so cool to, some people might think to be in that friend group or to have a friend group like that. Yeah. Um, but really you're just like kind of showing off your life. You're just kind of like, yeah, here's the people. So getting your friends involved in those vlogs is like, 
would be even better you know like, yeah especially you doing stuff with your husband too like going different yeah. places people would be like oh like I love that <laughs> yeah my favorite was my favorite was my sister uh at Halloween like it was just her and I just being ourselves and I just mm. stuck the camera around in places and um oh my gosh like I have so much obviously so much footage that I didn't didn't make the cut that I didn't use um a lot of it is just because it's just like so silly out of context like it's funny mm. to me right? yeah because yeah, it's yeah. me and my you sister to differentiate <laughs> between those things yeah. I, I felt that too yeah but the rest of the world wouldn't find it funny you know but like though that was totally my favorite because it's like you literally just saw what would really occur this is this sh- this is the shenanigans that we would generally get up to yeah not that's the power of the editing process too yeah. it's like you're like ah, you're like i find that funny but nobody's gonna understand like yeah. this right here but you can put yeah. the rest of it in and they still get entertained yeah. by it yeah i exactly. have that editing brain from just like stand-up comedy because i've, I've had right. so many bits that i've written where i've tried it out on stage and i'm like oh there's no context here like it's funny to me but like I, i'm there's, there's a missing link everyone's looking you at have me the like, entire backstory yeah. that goes with it <laughs> Everybody it's, else it's has here. just like walked in and they're like, sorry, what are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, I have no <laughs> idea where, where he's going or where he yeah. even started with this thing. <laughs> My God. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, and the other, the other thing is like just trying to be funny is also not a thing. You know, you can't try to be funny. Like you need to just, you really can't, you have to be yourself. And this is the one thing I learned vlogging is like, I can be funny sometimes editing is helpful but editing is super helpful you really can't try to be funny it's like I don't I'm not a stand-up comedian and I don't write jokes because if I did they would sound like dad jokes they would be really (laughs) bad like they wouldn't be funny at all so like I just 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 stuff you enjoy I rely on like my facial expressions or you know like random stuff like that's great for like zoom ups and stuff if you have a good like what the hell i have a lot of things you know so it looks nice and other hey it's good for it's good for video content it is (laughs) you just have a cut together tiktok cut together of the many faces and just have like a montage (laughs) because i make so many errors when i'm when i'm recording right and i try to like get good chunks of me talking so like you know you like you miss a line Mm. hey even that's content yeah i know cut all of that together (laughs) save it in a folder and have a blooper reel that you just upload one day where you're like oh shit it's rainy outside i can't film anything let me just cut together a blooper reel yeah like, Cause then people are like, Oh, this is two, so funny. Two weeks this. ago, two weeks ago, I was like filming. Was it two weeks ago? And I was my, the blooper I included at the end was like, um, something about like a festive, a uh, festive waddle. And I meant to say a festive waffle, but it was funny because it was like, I ate so much food and then like waddled my way out of the Christmas. Uh, market, you know, <laughs> you're and like, it was yeah, like go with but it. that's like, a, you can't plan that. That's like, wouldn't have been funny if I had written it. Yeah. You know? It's almost well, like you keep it in the video because you're just like, that's just so funny. You did? Hilarious. Okay, perfect. I, did. perfect. It, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. killing myself laughing. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. if I think it's that funny, like someone's going to at least yeah, have yeah. like a, ha, huh. like they might like, yeah, they're going to be like, you know? oh, she tripped up. And, like they're even just going to be like uh, more endeared to you for leaving yeah. it in. You know what yeah. I mean? Like just for yeah. kind of like letting them in on the process a little yeah. bit of like, There's, yeah, I made, I made a mistake. Uh, let's move on. Literally no, <laughs> like, perfect, no perfection over here whatsoever. If you could see the outtakes, let me tell you. It is so much more like freeing though to be able to do that like to not have that kind of like cap and that censorship like that was the other reason I did this podcast too is because the videos yeah. that I do for work they're like very short like they're just yeah. like get right to the point give me the information and then we're, we're out but here it's like we can just get you know, pauses you can just like freely talk and think in the moment about something yeah um like I've asked people the like what their one word was like in the middle of the recording yeah and just like I've oh noticed God, that take, take your time take think your about time it. <laughs> Like there's only like you know a couple of people listening. It's fine, whatever. Yeah. They'll wait. They'll fast forward. Yeah, it's skip fine. Ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just skip ahead. Skip yeah. There, there are powers available for these people if they don't want to listen to it. They have the control. Yeah. They're, I'm, they're really, I'm really trying to enforce that. If you do not want to listen, just move on. I don't care. <laughs> That's, it doesn't matter yeah. to me. No, it, it affects doesn't. me. Not, it doesn't affect me at all. Not makes even no, in the slightest. Literally makes no difference. The video is still there. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, we started with um, plans. What are your yeah. your next plans coming forward with uh, with your YouTube channel? What are uh, 
What are some things well, that you want to do? Do you want to travel so, somewhere else or? Definitely. So we, we were going to go to the Netherlands for Christmas. Well, I don't know if you know what's happening out in this part of the world. The Netherlands is not doing well. Damn. With their numbers. Um, so we are not going to the Netherlands. <laughs> um, we are going to stay here in London for Christmas. Um, so I've kind of just been doing like Christmas content, you know, like festive content, nice. trying to get myself in the spirit, knowing that we're not going to be in Canada. Again, the vlog really helping me out, you know, coping, yeah, yeah, with, coping with like reality. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Netherlands is like a place I've always wanted to go to. I have family there, so that's probably oh, cool. like a first ticket, a big ticket item for us. Um, I haven't been on a beach in like a very long time. When was the last time you were on a beach? Hmm. I was on a beach in the summer, but it was like oh. a Canadian beach. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Let me, let me just clarify. It wasn't a very nice beach. <laughs> no. I had to yeah. take a ferry to get to it. <laughs> I, had to, I had to like fully bathe before I could like get in the car. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, Lake I like Ontario like water. Tropical, like a tropical beach, you know, like a vacation uh, beach. I, I was probably like 14. <laughs> oh, been a very oh, long I'm time. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait. Actually, that's false. I did go to Thailand. That was hmm. five years. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that just feels kind of like something that maybe needs to happen. So there's a lot of places out on this side of the globe that people go to that aren't as common, like Croatia for example, you know, like we would never as North Americans, we don't typically think about going to Croatia yeah, yeah. Like a beach vacation. Um, but that's the thing. So interesting. Croatia is good beaches on the list. Yeah. It's on the hey, list. That's like right there. That's a video of the just like hidden gems yeah. in Croatia. Yeah. Eric you would know, like to yeah. go to, I think Paris for F1 next year. That'd be so, cool too. Yeah. We're oh, big yeah. F1 fans. So that might be something we do. So yeah, we've got some, got some ideas but again <laughs> we're not going to plan it we're just gonna like just do whenever it. there's yeah. time and money we'll just yeah like, yeah okay, you can't be like i'm going to film the f1 video on this yeah. day no no no, no 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 but you can some definitely have do your, that yeah some people have your do manifestation list though i have my like things yeah. that i yeah my markers like, where i'm like okay at a year i know what i'm doing i know what my episode at a year is going to be you know like i've got all those things nice yeah. little markers yeah um if you're watching on youtube make sure you pop over to mm. canadian abroad and go give michelle a subscribe watch some of the videos i'm going to link to it in the description below as well and on instagram a canadian abroad too um also be in the description yeah that's me <laughs> that's great do you have any parting words for our uh, our listeners here Man, just, you know what? Like, it's going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, it's going to be all right. Like, you don't have to plan the crap out of your life. Um, just try and, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm headed. But I'm okay, you know? So you don't have to plan everything. Sometimes I think it's important to just, like, see what happens when you don't plan it. And Yeah. Live your within life, reason, people. Within reason, live your life and say yes to things. No, right? jump out of an airplane and call your mom first. <laughs> yeah, I did that too, and I'm also fine. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. If you jump out of an airplane, please call your mom. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. would be the respectful thing to do. She yeah. did give birth to you. Yes. All right, everybody. <laughs> That's good episode number 12. If you're listening on uh, iTunes and Spotify, thank you. Make sure you leave a five-star review and a comment if you can. But until next time, stay classy. You've been listening to The Johnny Rogers Show. New episodes air every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.